Hello! It's Rainy and today I am so excited because we are doing a whole bookish day and I cannot wait. I just want to do like a quick little hello check-in with y'alls before we move into the day. So today I am so excited. I am going to be continuing my read of Ruthless Vows and I am pretty I've gotten a chunk into it 44% of the way through it on page 187 and I am wanting to get close to finishing this today I don't know if I'll finish it today we'll see we'll see how the day goes but I would really like to get another really good chunk into Ruthless Vows today I also I know that I'm drinking a coffee right now but I really want to go to a cute coffee shop and then I want to go to the bookstore and do some reading and do some looking at books maybe shopping at books I don't know I'm not saying yes I'm not saying no so we will see I am going to drink my coffee and I am actually going to take a quick shower because my hair really needs to be washed and then we're gonna get ready and we're gonna go and I am just so excited to have a nice bookish day I haven't had a full just bookish day in a hot minute it's been a while so i'm just really excited to just have a day where i get to just read and do book stuff and not feel bad about it and not feel guilty about it and just enjoy having a bookish day so without further ado let's get into our day okay after procrastinating and dilly dallying i am freshly showered with my hair done i tried to like do a little bit of like a blowout vibe but i have very long hair with no layers so it just kind of looks like i curled it at the ends that's okay i think it still looks cute we have kindle phone water bottle and we're going to pack my bag really quick because we are gonna go and get out of here and get to our day. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we're heading out. I'm debating between a couple of coffee shops and I also don't know if I'm gonna get a coffee or a matcha, so we'll see. I was really curious to try their chai latte because I really like chai when it's made really strong, but I don't like it when you don't get all of those warm spice flavors. So a lot of the times when I get chai at a coffee shop, it's good, but it doesn't really necessarily taste like chai. It tastes like cinnamon and sweet. This actually had all of those really warm spice flavors. It was a little bit too sweet for my particular liking, but I really appreciated that the chai spices were nice and strong. So this is a chai that I would actually come back and get again if I wasn't wanting to take the time to make chai at home and I just wanted to get one while I was out. officially made it to the 50% mark, which makes me so excited. So I am, wow, there's someone, do you see that? There's someone like so close to the back of my car. <laughs> ah, that's scary. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna just ignore that and not be anxious about it because there's no need. But <laughs> we're gonna go, I think we're gonna go ahead to Barnes and Noble. I just wanna look at all the books and I just want to relax and peruse and that just sounds really nice right now so 
that's what we're gonna go do we're gonna go to barnes and it's like literally the perfect day it's kind of a gloomy day it's like raining it's sprinkling and it's kind of gray and so i feel like that is always like great time to go to barnes and noble book shopping do a bookish day so that's what we're gonna do I am pretty much at the Barnes Noble, but I am so hungry. So this is like kind of strange, but every once in a while I'll do this. Like if I'm really not in the mood to eat at like a restaurant, but I need food, I will stop at a grocery store and pick something up. And the only place that's kind of close to this Barnes and Noble is a natural grocers and they don't really have like pre-made food to eat. So I got myself stuff to make a sandwich and they only had whole pickles. So we're gonna have to figure out something with these pickles to go on my sandwich. It's been a while since I've made like a full on sandwich in my car or bread. I'm not gonna like try to do the camera and make the sandwich, but I will show you the final result of the sandwich. Someone just drove right by my car and like looked <laughs> they're probably like what the freak is this girl doing right now not sure one i don't even know if i can open this and i'm praying that i don't spill it on myself oh oh yeah that was satisfying here's our sandwich with our pickles anyway we're gonna eat this really quick mm. This reminds me of childhood. I was such a picky eater when I was a kid. I would only do turkey. Sometimes it was just turkey sandwich or it was turkey and pickles and that's it. I'm gonna eat this and then we will get to Barnes and Noble, which is like two seconds that way. This was, this was a good decision. I needed this before we went book shopping because we have to be fueled and we have to be ready for book shopping. <laughs>
I wanted to do a quick little haul because first things first, I'm so excited to own this book. I read it on my Kindle, five star for me. Absolutely loved reading this and I had been wanting to buy myself a copy and I was so excited to see them in store and I just think the hardbacks are so beautiful and it has, oh, excuse my receipt. It has these beautiful hardbacks. It says, Dear Iris. I am in love so I was just so 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 excited to finally get a copy of this book and then I picked up this little guy which actually sounded so good it's called the mountains made of glass by Scarlett St. Clair I think I own one of her other books but I haven't read it yet this one is like a 250 page book it's so short but it sounded so good and I went back and forth and back and forth about whether or not I should get it but it won out. I couldn't. I, it's $12. Like, I had to get it. It sounded so good. So, I'm gonna read the synopsis to you guys really quick because it just sounds so good. So, it says a fairy tale retelling on the front. So, I was curious about like what fairy tale retelling it was going to be. But then, after reading the back, it's like a mix of like a bunch of different ones. It says, uh, uh, <laughs> all Giselle's life, her home village of elk has been cursed. And it isn't a single curse, it's one after another, each to be broken broken by a villager, each with devastating consequences. When Elk's well goes dry, it's Gisela's turn to save her town by killing the toad that lives at the bottom. Except the toad is not a toad at all. He's an elven prince under a curse of his own, and upon his death, his brothers come for Gisela, seeking retribution. As punishment, the princes banish Gisela to live with their seventh brother, the one they call the Beast. Gisela expects to be a prisoner of a hideous monster, but the Beast turns out to be exquisitely beautiful, and rather than lock her in in a cell he offers Gisela a deal if she can guess his true name in seven days she can go free Gisela agrees but there's a hidden catch she must speak his name with love in order to free him too but can either of them learn to love in time like that sounds literally so good so it's like princess and the frog and Beauty and the Beast and Rumpelstiltskin like all together that just sounds so interesting and it's so short like I I read a bunch of reviews and it's kind of like hit or miss, but I think that this is going to be right up my alley. A lot of people were saying that it gave them Folk of the Air vibes, which is the Coral Prince. And if you know me, if you've been around for a hot minute, you know that that is like one of my all-time favorite book series. So anything that says that it's similar in any capacity... I will be buying and I will be reading and I think I might dive into it like today tomorrow like it's so short I think it's gonna take me no time at all so exciting what a great book day I am obsessed okay we are going to go home and proceed with the rest of our day I'm so excited what a great little Barnes trip on this rainy rainy day it like that i am calling it a night i'm still gonna read ruthless vows we got to page 222 so we were on page 187 to 222 we read 35 pages today while being out and about which is not like amazing but also i just enjoyed reading in the different environments today which was really just nice and i don't always do my best reading when i'm out and about because there's distractions and there's a lot going on and there's noise but i just had so much fun today and really enjoyed going out and just being a book lover and doing book related things today it was just such a really great day i'm just popping in here really quick because it is literally the next day and i spent all night reading this book and I finished it. I finished it in one sitting. I have not done that in I think over a year. So um, yeah, I gave this a four stars and really enjoyed it. It was really interesting how the author combined so many different fairy tales into one retelling and I really liked that aspect of it. And I really enjoyed the author's note at the end because the author, goes through and actually like explains what fairy tales she pulled from and why and what aspects that she pulled from them into her story which i actually think really added to the overall story of like why 
certain things were used and whatnot. And um, overall, I definitely think it was like a smuttier version of a lot of these fairy tales, but I thought the writing was great. I would very much be interested in reading another Scarlet St. Clair book. And I just overall enjoyed the very like almost like gory fairy tales. It really reminded me of the world that the Coral Prince takes place in because it's not all what it seems like everything might seem beautiful on the outside but that doesn't mean that it's beautiful on the inside and i like those kinds of fairy tales where not everything is perfect and pretty and beautiful it can be dangerous it can be maybe gory or you know kind of like the grimm's fairy tales they're not all rainbows and sunshines and that's kind of how this book went and i thought that that was very interesting and really captivating. Obviously, I read it in one sitting. I knew that I was in the mood for this apparently because I spent all last night reading it after I shut the camera off. Just popping in for the, a little update on this guy because I, yeah, bought it, read it in one day. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for coming along with me. I hope you enjoyed and please like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Happy reading. Bye.